Hey guys, today I will be showing a one of my, um, I think it was actually one of my first 3DS titles, and the first and only, sadly, Mario game that I beat, Super Mario 3D Land. So let's just go to my world. So Super Mario 3D Land, standard Mario Fair. Um, there are. I believe so eight worlds so there's eight worlds and when you complete a world complete being you get you know all three medals you know you get a star on it so and it'll also show that at the bottom here so as you see I've completed you know all the worlds when you get to uh, places like this I'll just go ahead and show you what they have they end up giving you an item And if you get everything, you know, it usually has a metal or, you know, a special item with it. And they, um, whenever you leave the world or you go, you know, into worlds, they do tend to respawn. That's why it has a little Z, Z's above it, because it does come back. Um, so each of the worlds, um, are unique and special. Some of them are underground, some of them are above ground, some of them are desert, some of them are like, look like Lego pieces. Some of them uh, rely on, you know, the the jumping mechanics in the game. Uh, some of them have, you know, like a Shadow Mario chasing you. Some of them are Bowser-centered. You know, some of them are, you know, regular, you know, um, kind of boss levels. Oh, also when it has the, the little flag, that means I got to the top of the flag. And I did that for every single level. Oh my god, like... <laughs> It was so hard to do it. Like, for for these regular levels, it wasn't that bad. Oh, also the music changes when you go to different worlds, so. And um, when you go to these uh, mushrooms, there's different mushroom places. But when you go to them, I believe they, uh, they bring you to, like, a small little world here. You go inside. And you click this book. You, those are like the cutscenes you see like every time you go to a new world that like kind of just lets you know what's happening but then there are certain other ones which are instead shops you know where whoops let me click it again which are instead shops which you know allows you to which allows you to, you know, switch out items. You know, your items are always at the bottom here. If you click it, you can bring it out so you could use it. Excuse me, if you have two items, it'll just be stored there. There is your um, max amount of lives. I have 182, I have a shit ton. Um, and then your coins are to the top left. So there's a bunch of different powers in this game. Um, you have you have, you know, the raccoon one, you have, um, I believe you have the flying cape one, you have, um, you know, fire Mario, you know, some of the, some of the powers that you've seen in most of them, um, and of course, you know, the 3D aspect in the game, oh, whoops, wrong button, 3D aspect in the game is definitely what makes it fun as well, especially when you go to some of the, some of the early places. So there's eight worlds, right? So here's the thing. The first eight worlds, a lot of people would, would consider to be very easy, right? So when you go in here, and you can't do this until you finish all eight worlds, then you get the special worlds. So the special worlds are where the challenge really starts, and the game becomes very hard. And special worlds, they basically take you to the same worlds. So the same worlds, they just make it harder. So you either have to get to the end in a certain time frame. Or you have to, you know, uh, get to the end while a Shadow Mario is chasing you. And if he touches you and kills you, you know, 
well, when he touches you, it kills you, and then you have to start either from the checkpoint or from the beginning. So, as you can imagine, when you're trying to get all three medals and trying to get, you know, the top of that damn flag, that becomes very infuriating very quickly. So, I'll, I'll go ahead and show, like, one special world and, like, one regular. So, let's say, let's go with the first world, because why not? It's an easy one to pick. Also, it shows you, you know, your best times, and it was showing other me's there that have uh, done it before. I don't even remember how to play. I'm not even gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. When you've gotten it before, it'll it'll usually be um. It'll usually be clear like that. The game's very colorful. It's a very fun game, to be honest with you. It's not one, like I said, it's not one of the hardest Mario games you'll find until you get to the special levels, but it's still hard nonetheless um, when you do get to those special levels. And it can be a little difficult even when you're just doing, you know, the regular worlds until you really figured them out. Then you can do cool stuff like that. So I get some coins for that since that was already big. That's what checkpoints look like. Fuck. Forget how small you become. And the game really, you know, really emphasizes not only, you know, Moving on to 3D plane, like this, hold on. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but now this block is in front of me and you can see it. All I have to do is go like that, and now I can see it. The only thing is I probably can't fly across like I want to. Well, <laughs> I guess I couldn't grab onto it, but whatever. So, um... There is a regular timer anyways to get there, but usually, especially when you're playing on these levels, it's more than enough time to get to where you need to be. So now that I killed him. But yeah, the usual, you know, tropes like, you know, um, breaking boxes and, um, breaking boxes and, um, really using your powers, you know, in different levels. Um, and then you also have the clock there that adds time, you know, really using your powers in different levels will really open up the level for you And you may even find that you could actually complete it faster with certain powers or complete it slower with certain powers or miss out on You know uh, certain metals or you know what have you without certain powers available to you Ah, oh, what? Come on Then you also have these, you can use these to see the goal, and also when you go to zoom in on him, he'll show you how to do it. So you go all the way back, he missed it, <laughs> but he was like, I made it anyways. So usually uh, how else these are used is they could actually show you where the next metal is sometimes. Hold on. It's a little hard to see. Because I have to move it. But it can actually show you where the next metal is sometimes. And that can be useful. Especially if you don't know where the next one is. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. Tight rope in here. And sometimes... If you really know your way around the, the place, you could actually get away with, you know, skipping certain sections, just like in old ones. See? Like you can skip past them. You know, if you're really going for time like that, you could just completely skip past them and say, you know what? Let's get past them. Definitely, if you're trying to get to the top of these poles, I definitely recommend you use your uh, Tanuki suit. Um, 
Otherwise, not that it's not possible, but it definitely makes it harder. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you do a whole special level. Oh yeah, that um, when you have a lot of time, it adds to your coins. But there's nothing more frustrating when you do a special level and saves happen after each level. When you do a special level and you get all three medals and then you go to the end to get the flag and then you just miss it by an inch because you jump you jump too soon, jump too late, you didn't have enough of a running start. There's a lot of different variables. Also, cool little thing, when you complete every level and you know get all the medals and get all the flags this happens click this little L here and you get to play as Luigi now Luigi runs and jumps differently his jumps are more springy so keep in mind if you've been playing with Mario the whole time and his jumps are more short but high um, it's definitely going to be an adjustment period especially if you want to play with Luigi on the special levels Oh, I like this level. But this is one of the special levels. So now I'm gonna go ahead and aim it. You see the little Goomba there? Let's try to get it right through there. And then you have those two. Another one. Oh, you also have those timed ones too. So if you collect them all enough time, they usually provide you with some item. And you hear the little ticking sound. They they give you a little minute where it's like, and if you miss it, you miss it. You'd have to try again, you know, by coming back into the level. So try your best to to be fast when you see those. But yeah, this is this is definitely a fun game. I really I really did enjoy this game. And you can crawl under. Oh yeah, he also has like you know. Yeah, sometimes you can find little secrets like that. Yeah, you can hold that in, and you can jump higher. Sometimes you have a little cool stuff like that. Damn it. Should have been paying attention. Time there. Oh yeah, you could do a barrel roll. I forgot about that. When you're in the crunch position. He doesn't have a lot of like base moves by himself, but when he gets his powers and you combine his base moves, he's he's quite impressive. Oh yeah, and then you have these power buttons. So you just follow the ones they put out for you there. Sometimes, sometimes they like turn into like, oh yeah, and you always get a round of applause, I love that. Sometimes they turn into like little symbols, cool little symbols like from Mario games past or just in general, um, you know, a Mario symbol that you're like, oh, you know, that's, that's cool. This, this game is definitely about the little things too, and it's, it's good for newcomers to the series. Oh yeah, if you if you get them in line, you get something special. Oh, there we go. You get rewarded with an item. 
but this this is good for you know old and newcomers oh yeah i forgot about that you you can be a box give me a box i'm a box i'm a box and you're basically a box until it until it breaks but usually it, it lasts a little minute so that So now, now it's kind of like an homage to the to the old school, you know, 2D mixed with 3D. Love, love to see shit like that. So cool. And we got it. One up. Always remember one up. You know, customarily means. Um, I guess I was one of the easier special levels because they they do get difficult, from what I remember. You know what? While I'm at it, I'll I'll show um like a boss level kind of place, just so you guys can get a feel for you know everything you know roughly this game has. So right now we're already on a timer, so we gotta go. We gotta go. We don't have time to waste. Like I said, it really helps to, to know the landscape of things. It helps to know how everything works here. You, know, you really get rewarded for that. Fuck. Excuse my language, but fuck. Just trying to get there as fast as possible. But yeah, this is like one of the many times you're gonna take on Bowser. You fight him many times in this game. I wanna say like maybe like maybe four or five times. Until you like actually beat him, beat him. So right now, we're not doing too bad with time. It's saying our goal is up there. So we gotta go down there. Almost messed that up horribly. Damn it. And I saw him do it too. That was the funny part. So now he's gonna come out. Skeleton version though. And he's gonna blow fireballs at you. Gotta get away from him. You can cheese him a little bit by just running completely past him. If you have enough health, you can get away with it. So you're going to be doing that pretty often. And then you get rewarded. Then you go into this box and it sends you up there. They have those boxes in this game too. Uh, to where they kind of let you traverse into other areas. Now let me see if I can stick it. You can stick it as a little Mario but it's, it's going to be a little difficult. <sighs> no good. It's, it's hard. It's hard to stick it as a little Mario. clear time and everything and keep in mind however you ended the level you know i ended the level as little mario so i'm little mario now and whatever items you use you use so then you have to go you know get more somewhere else man but i remember when you get to the last place the last place it is whew, it was tough it was tough oh whoops <laughs> i didn't mean to i didn't mean to jump into a level what I can do for you guys, though, is real quick, course selection, I'll just show you what it's like to play as Luigi real fast. So, let's go into a type of world I hadn't shown you guys yet, so, let's say this one. And this will be the last thing I show you guys. 
I only really played as Luigi a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, it's one of the wor these worlds that just keeps moving. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't break shit like that when you're small. I forgot about that. Ooh. Man, there's been some jumps that I've made to where I was like, man, I am so shocked I lived after that. But then there are some times where it's like, ah, come on, man. Give me that one. There we go. I remember I used to play this game like hours on end trying to like, trying to like get all this stuff in the game. Mario games are fun, great, great pastime, especially if, you know, you're kind of bogged down by the RPGs or, you know, whatever else you're playing in a moment, it's always nice to play, um, to play a Mario game, and you don't, you don't really have to worry about too much, other than the fact that you might fuck up, fuck up a jump, like, like I gladly didn't do there. So far, so good. Oh yeah, I forgot. So, some of the times they do make it kind of hard with platforms to uh to get to the flag. So let's see if I can land it. And some of those metals are really well hidden. Like you won't find them your first two or three times um, going into the level. You're gonna have to go three, four times. You may even have to look it up. Some of them are very well hidden. Oh, and remember, you can't just get um, a medal. You can't just get a medal. Um, you can't just get a medal and die and leave the mission. Like you have to get the medal and complete the mission. If you want to make sure you uh, you can come get a medal, complete a mission, then come back, and it'll still show that you got that one. Keep in mind, the medals are in order too. So if you have these first two, you know, okay, well, the last one is somewhere towards the end of the level somewhere. Again, I clicked the wrong button. I clicked B. Damn it. But anyways, so that was um, Super Mario 3D Land. Um, like I said, very fun game. I really can't say enough about it. I, I really enjoyed playing it. Um, and they really do uh, play on the, the 3D a lot more in some of the later levels. But thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. And happy jumping. Peace.